Hi, tonight is day 13 of our 25 days of Christmas devotional. And tonight's devotional is called Away in a Manger. Away in a manger, no crib for a bed. The little Lord Jesus laid down his sweet head. This hymn was inspired by a single verse in the Bible that tells us that Jesus was laid in a manger. Because there was no place for them in the end. You're probably extremely familiar with this part of the Christmas story, but it's easy to get the wrong idea about Christ's birth from that simple line. If someone today is traveling and finds himself without a place to stay, we usually assume he didn't plan his trip very well. We usually assume or he should have made a reservation beforehand. But far from being an accident or a sign of poor planning, Jesus being laid in a manger is actually the result of a plan so detailed and so amazing, only God have could have brought, a bit, brought it about. In order to understand how Jesus came to be laid in a manger, we have to understand why he was born in Bethlehem at all. Caesar Augustus had decided to take a census of everyone in the Roman Empire. A census means to count. He wanted to find out how many people were there including the Jews who were not even Roman citizens. Rome was expanding so quickly, a tally had to be taken to make sure everyone was being taxed correctly so the empire would have the money it needed to operate. Scholars tell us that this was the first census ever taken in the Roman Empire, and the timing of Caesar's decree was such that Joseph and Mary would be in the town of Bethlehem, not on the road, not already back home, exactly when the time came for Jesus to be born. Caesar Augustus surely thought the decree was his idea and that the timing was up to him. But it turns out that he was just running an errand for God. You see, 750 years earlier, God had revealed through the prophet Micah that his son, the Messiah, would be born in Bethlehem. You read that yesterday in Micah chapter 5, verse 2. Because God is in complete control and knows everything, he knew that Caesar would make the decree at just the right time for Mary and Joseph to be in Bethlehem for Jesus' birth and for Micah's prophecy to be fulfilled. If God knew exactly when and where Jesus would be born, then we can safely assume that he also knew that after Jesus' birth, he would be laid in a manger because there was no room at the end. God didn't forget to make a reservation for Jesus. Far from being a mistake or an oversight on God's part, the fact that there was no room at the inn was a preview of how the world would reject him and how people would shut their hearts and lives to him. The thing you see happening every day may appear to be accidental, coincidental, or unimportant, but the story of Jesus in the manger reminds us that nothing is accidental. God is directing all of it to accomplish his plan. As you celebrate this often hectic and stressful season, remember that God hasn't overlooked a single detail. Would you pray with me? Dear Lord, thank you that you oversee every tiny detail of our lives, from what we will eat to where we will sleep each night. Help us to trust you with our when our future feels uncertain and to look for your hand at work whenever life feels random and out of control. Amen. Okay, your verse to look up tonight is Luke chapter 2, verses 1 through 7. Um, and for your activity tonight, if you had just arrived as a guest in your city and all the hotels are full, where would you go? Would you stay with friends or family? What if you didn't know anyone in the town? Would you look for a store or a restaurant that was open all night? What about a bus station or the airport? The next time your family is in a public place, imagine staying there all night. What would it be like? Before you go home, pick up some personal eye hygiene items, wet wipes, toothbrush, toothpaste, and deodorant, and some non-perishable snacks, and drop them off along with a cash donation, if you can, at your local homeless shelter or halfway house to help families with no other places to stay. Or you could take them to our church and Miss Bonnie can help with that. Okay, have fun uh, thinking about having to stay somewhere for the entire night and collecting some goodies to give out to the homeless people. I'll see you tomorrow night. Bye-bye.